আসসালামু আলাইকুম আই এম ডক্টর রিফাত তাবাসসুম অ্যাসিস্ট্যান্ট প্রফেসর বসুন্ধরা আদিন মেডিকেল কলেজ সাউথ কেনিগঞ্জ ঢাকা টুডে উই আর গোইং টু ডিসকাস अबाउट ল্যাবরেটরি হ্যাজার্ড এন্ড সেফটি হোয়াট ইজ হ্যাজার্ড এনি অবজেক্ট অর ম্যাটেরিয়াল ইন এ ল্যাবরেটরি দ্যাট ক্যান কজ ইনজুরি টু হিউম্যান অর হার্ম টু এনवायरमेंट ইজ কলড হ্যাজার্ড টাইপ অফ হ্যাজার্ড physical hazard chemical hazard and biological hazard physical hazard it may occur from glass wires flammable and combustible material compressed gas high voltage equipment or sharp equipments chemical hazard injuries from chemicals may occur from number 1 direct contact with the skin when powdering the reagent or breakage the containers with lip or mouth pipetting with esophagus or, or and stomach if accidentally swallowed damage to the gas by lungs inhalation of the vapors and inhalation of the fumes of nitric acid acetic acid toxic effect of the substance by absorption from the alimentary tract that is and lungs and skin chemical harmful chemicals are corrosive substances strong acids such as hydrochloric acid sulfuric acid nitric acid alkalis are sodium hydroxide potassium hydroxide toxic chemicals barbiturates cyanide etc organic solvents benzene toxic to the bone marrow carbon tetrachloride toxic to the liver harmful gases such as carbon dioxide and compressed air carcinogen such as benzidine formaldehyde biological hazard it occurs from infectious specimens such as blood urine pleural fluid pericardial fluid extra uh, cerebrovascular uh, csf etc disease occur like hepatitis hiv enteric fever etc biohazard may occurs from accidental puncture with hypodermic needles spraying of infectious material by syringe or spilling or splattering this material on the bench or top of the floor centrifuge accident cut and scratch from the contaminated glassware mouth pipetting of infectious materials first aid to victims of the laboratory hazard every laboratory should have first aid kit and everybody should acquaint with first aid procedure minor cut wash with soap and water then with uh, apply antiseptic 70% alcohol apply antibiotic ointment and bandage acid burn on the skin wash with plenty of water and soap then apply paste of sodium bicarbonate acid burn on the eye wash with running water then apply 2% of sodium bicarbonate solution and send the victim to the ophthalmologist alkali burn on the skin or mouth wash with water and rinse thoroughly with 2% acetic acid alkali burn on eyes wash thoroughly with running water and send the victim to the ophthalmologist heat burn for minor burn apply a paste of sodium bicarbonate if the burn is severe then send to the surgeon immediately electric shock first of all detach the victim from the contact of the switch of the electricity and separate by using dry wood or cloth then loosen the cloth about the neck and so that the victim can breathe freely keep the victim lying down quietly until the breathing is regular and pulse can be felt if no breathing artificial breathing must be started immediately if the heat is the heart is stopped the doctor will utilize a special method for resuscitation laboratory safety accident may vary occur often in the laboratory every laboratory should have some first aid kit and everybody should be thoroughly acquainted with the first aid procedure everybody should wear apron before they enter into laboratory everybody should wear shoes noise glasses and confusion should be avoided handle the apparatus and equipment carefully never use unclean pipette or apparatus which will spoil the experiment and also by polluting the reagent never 
use mouth pipette for poisonous or radioactive material. Do not keep or open the flammable substance near to the burner or any source of fire. Eating, drinking and smoking are strictly prohibited in the laboratory. Keep the required apparatus and reagent in their respective places. Do not keep the reagent bottle open. Before leaving the laboratory, one should clean the apparatus used and handled over the technician. Hand should be clean before leaving the laboratory. Now some advice for the students. Students must, must be punctual and listen to the instructor given by the teacher about the experiment. The students must have cleaned the theoretical background of the experiment. Consult the teacher in case of any confusion. Maintain a laboratory notebook and should signed by the teacher after each experiment. Thank you all. Assalamu alaikum.